Well today here we have a different set. It's a Cobra UK29 LTD ST which I bought a few years ago. I think these go back to um, something like 2002 um, under the PR2797 so it's 80 channel for the UK and for CPT FM and this is one we bought second hand but from a well known retail shop uh, and I have no reason to believe it uh, it doesn't work now I've been trawling through these and we've been doing these videos bit by bit one by one we've still a lot to do from 1981 and of course we've got a lot of current models to do and it's a slow process as it has to be fitted in other things this comes with the Cobra looking microphone which is nice, the HG M73 it says on the back and the reason this has been triggered is because we've got a repair coming from an end user, now we don't do end user repairs normally but he uh, pleaded with us and so I thought well I will so he has got no transmit on this, it's been looked at by somebody else and unfortunately they've started by chopping the speaker wires off which is really professional not I've never seen inside one of these I can't find a circuit diagram I can't find a service manual so we're going to have to play this one by ear so instead of working on the customers one first I thought I will do a tune up on our fully working one and that way we can work out uh, what what's working what how it's going to be um, optimized and subsequently how the faulty one should be working so we can ref use this as a reference so I'll just open this up so I've looked at the printed circuit board I can see that we've got the VCO section there in the can so we don't need to touch that unless something's out of lock um, I can see that 301, 302 and 303 are going to be transmit of tune up. I can see that 100, 101, 102 are going to be the receive front end. I can see 104, 105 are going to be IF. Of course what the presets do I haven't got the foggiest so we'll have to mess up mine and find out what they are but that doesn't matter we can put it all back right. Um, oh and the crystal trimmer for the frequency is going to be that red one down there so say having to do it the the daft way we'll plug in the test set and we'll power it up and see what power it's transmitting on at the moment so there we are all lit up I'll select channel 20 I'm going to tune this up on UK and I'll do the same with the customers because he's told me he uses UK not EU um, so rather because if, we, if we're going to do it in the centre of the band we need to do it on channel 40 UK or channel 1 EU but I want to do it in the centre of the UK band so the optimum performance is there so that's what we're going to do um, so I better plug my extension speaker in to the test set because of course I've removed the internal speaker So the outer is squelch, RF gain, dynamite, wow, tone control, yeah we'll have that up there, and UK channels, so we want that in normal, delta tune to centre, CB, ANL off. So I'll just transmit and it is doing 3.6 watts and it is how on frequency 27 slightly off frequency because it's dropped wage I said on this video at the beginning I bought this two or three years ago I actually bought it in 2009 I've just looked it up so it just goes to show how time flies this is 2020 so I actually bought it 10 and a half 11 years ago so I'll pull up that for a start and that's something we can do without any further ado and that's pop the frequency up to where it should be so that was the wrong way clockwise is increase 
and we're on on quite a slow count for the accuracy on this so it's one second count just edge it up bit by bit it's getting there no it's just short now crystals can drop with age um, and eventually need replacing but it's going to be within where it needs to be yeah 2779121 is the best I can get so presumably that's 10.24 crystal and we could change that if I was uh, needed to bring it up that much that we're alright so that's alright I'll just see how our deviation is get our little oscillator Wally that's pretty low thanks Wally Yes, that's uh, that's stupidly low. It's like 0 0.9 kilohertz. That needs rectifying. Anyway, before we do that, let's see if we can tune up that transmitter. So we're at 3.6 watts at the moment. Let's see if we can bring that up to four. So I'm going to adjust L301. Which I've been able to 302 which is already optimized 303 yeah. I'm just going to close up this coil Yeah, that's just uh, that's actually popped it up a bit. Now that's dropped it down a bit. There we go. It's three point eight, so it's a bit nearer four, isn't it? Now, as I've said a million times before, this is into a commercial test set which reads um, watts uh, on the frequency we're looking at not just a broad amount of RF you know if you get a, a cheap meter it's, it's not going to know that you're on 27 point whatever megs um, whereas this does so you, if you plug this into a cheap SWR meter that costs you a tenner you'll probably find it's doing 6 watts but it's actually doing 3.7, 3.8 so yeah that's what that was uh, brought that up now there may be a power regulator thing so I'll get back to you on that if that's the case so I am right there is a power regulator thing and it's just I use a yellow tool in the hope we can see that it's the preset down there which is RV203 so I can I've now got full 4 watts in fact I've just got it over um, so it goes down to just under 2 watts and just up to 4.2 so we'll just set that spot on 4 we've optimised the transmitter we've set the power to 4 so that's really good because it's not often we get CB radios that do real 4 watts uh, instead of a kind of perceived 4 watts into a cheap meter in that case then I'll just make a note that that 
is TX Power. So I would think that we're going to have a preset for the meter and I would expect it's either going to be that one or that one. So I will just tilt this up and we'll go into transmit and see what that meter reads. Bangs across. Yeah, that's the TX meter set. I'm just gonna have to tilt it so I can see because actually the camera's got the fact I could see I could see it in the monitor better than I can. So we need to set that to the center. Use a CB term, the center of the strawberry patch. How about that? And that's where we now are on transmit. So after that tune up you saw how it was banging across. So that's now set correctly. So once again I'll make a note on our sheet that RV103 is TX power meter. Well that's two of those controls that we've managed to find. Now I'm just going to look into this deviation. So once again I've, I'll just check that um, what I thought was deviation RV401 is deviation. And I'll just make a note, deviation. In actual fact, this was just hopelessly set low. And I've been able to just adjust that. And I'll just get our little oscillator back on, going to transmit. And we're going to adjust that for 2.2-ish. I'll just do the whistle test to make sure we're not exceeding 2.5 and the other test is wallow so there we go that's the deviation set so I'll tell you what that there's one thing I'll just do SWR meter so uh, it, with the SWR in the calibrate position and if I go into transmit, remember we're into dummy load through the test set. I'll just zoom out so we can probably see a bit more of the controls. Um, we've got here dimmer on the inner. And I'll tell you what, it dims the meter and it dims the display. Look how it's a multiplex display, you can see it flickering in the camera. That's that's nifty, I've not, uh, I don't often see that. So, if I press transmit, we'll go for calibrate. The calibrate position, as you can see, is just on that arrow at the end. And then, let's see what the SWR reads. And as you can see, the meter doesn't move. Of course, it's a perfect SWR. So, back to normal. And there we are, halfway into the strawberry patch. And that's the SWR sense board just there you like the hot glue this is a made in Thailand set you know uh, I think we've got to reminisce about the old days in inverted commas from the first generation of UK CBs in 1981 where most of them were made in Japan and uh, we kind of got used to that kind of quality although current sets uh, have moved away from these um, horrible SRBP printed circuits and onto fiberglass boards which is quite thankful so that concludes the transmit side of the Cobra UK29 LTD ST so thanks for watching and I'll just do the receive side on a separate video